This is a story that proves one doesn't need to be a dainty flower to be a princess. Once upon a time, in a kingdom that you're not gonna find on any map, there was a handsome young prince named Prince Lookwell. Yet despite his handsomeness and youth and wealth and power, Prince Lookwell didn't find a suitable princess to wed, all because of one woman, his mother, Queen Lookwell. Mother, I'm a grown man. I've fought victorious battles against the goblins of Darkmoor. Surely I can be trusted with choosing who I want to marry. Are you having a laugh? Because we are not amused. Are we not amused? I'm sorry, son, but you just can't be trusted with this decision. You just have no taste. No taste. Tell me just one thing that was wrong with any of them. Well, one was too short, one was too fat, one had an annoying habit of singing, one girl had one eye bigger than the other, one wore black socks with trainers, and one never wore proper clothes at all. They don't need to be perfect. I am correct, am I, father? Perfect is the least I expect for my son and this family. Thusly, I am making a royal edict. Next week, May 3rd, in the year of our kingdom, we will host a royal bachelorette ball. Inviting only the most suitable single princesses from the seven realms. Ugh, you're trying to fix me up. I don't want to be fixed up, mother. It is not a fix-up, it is a ball. If you say that you can be trusted to choose a suitable princess to wed, surely you can choose from the suitable girls that I invite. We only want you to be happy. I'm not so sure it's my happiness you want. Did you hear what your son said? Of course not. Wear your uniform with all the medals. Women love a man in uniform. On the night of the Royal Bachelorette Ball, every eligible princess from all the seven realms arrived, all except for one. Ah! We're stuck! It's going to take me a while to get us free! Princess Brianna of the Hinterlands, the only female of her royal clan. There's no time. I'm on an important mission. to die. Our ball is a roaring success. Just think, our future daughter-in-law is in this ballroom right now. Look at that buffoon. He thinks he's a hero wearing those medals. Well, tonight, the goblins of Darkmoor will have their revenge. Now is the time for the man of the hour to pick who will be his princess bride. If he
he gives you a rose, that means you've moved on to the next phase. If you do not get a rose, kindly leave at once. So Prince Lookwell regarded the young women. The finest princesses six of the seven realms could provide. And he rejected them all. <laughs> Thank you ladies for coming. So sorry you weren't selected. There are gift bags at the door. One per person, please. Are you determined to undo every nice thing we do for you? And just when the party seemed over, there was one last guest knocking on the door. I am Princess Brianna from the Hinterland. I must see Prince Lookwell at once. Sorry, but the festivities have come to an end. Uh, come back another time, perhaps, when you are not so... repulsive. Then, Princess Brianna charges into the ballroom and quickly and mercilessly dispatches the wicked assassins. We won't show it here, it's not for children, but believe me when I tell you it was... Ugh. These men were assassins from Darkmoor, sent to kill Prince Lookwell. Behold! You saved my life! And suddenly, the prince had found who he wanted to give a rose to. Princess Brianna. Are you certain you are a princess? You seem rather tall. I assure you I am, your majesty. I am a warrior princess. When I received my invitation to the ball, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity for the goblins to exact revenge. I was correct. We are very grateful to you for saving my son's life. I will send an envoy to Hinterlands to express my royal thanks. There are gift bags at the door. Bye-bye. Mother, please. This beautiful and brave woman has come all this way to save my life. She should be provided clean clothes and stay overnight. She couldn't possibly be a princess. Yet my son is enamored with her. I know of a way to verify if she's indeed a true princess. But we're going to need a lot of mattresses. And so, the royal advisor had every servant in the castle gather every spare mattress they could find. And stack them in the guest room where the royal advisor placed a teeny tiny single pea underneath one of the mattresses. For it was believed that only a real princess would have the sensitivity to feel a pee through such a quantity of bedding. Looks rather tall for a bed. Well, you're rather tall. Good night. But Princess Brianna could not fall asleep. Was she contemplating the goblin's next move? Was she overexcited by the day's event? Or was it something else unexpected? Good morning! So, how did you sleep? Very well, I imagine. I've slept in barns and dry river beds the holds of ships and prison cells. I've never been as uncomfortable as I was last night. And it was all because of this. The queen couldn't believe her eyes. Like the legend states, only a real princess could have felt that pee through all those mattresses. So that meant... She truly is a princess. Mother, you gave her the pee test. How very rude. Princess Brianna of the Hinterlands, will you marry me? Only if I have your parents' blessing. Perhaps we will get back to you. Welcome to the
the family. Also, I don't want to alarm anyone, but I think I saw bed bugs on some of the mattresses. And so the prince and princess were married. And the pea which brought them together was placed in the Royal Museum, where it can still be seen today. Have you sorted out what we will do with all the buggy mattresses? And what about the mattresses? Well, the Royal Advisor decided to open up a shop in the village with steep opening day discounts.